Good morning. This is your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Plenty of sun out there continuing this morning. It should see a quiet day, a uh, fairly seasonal day as we go through the day today. Uh, and we'll see some increasing clouds and a slight chance of some light precip in the area as we go into tomorrow morning. If we take a look at the current surface analysis, high pressure in control over the eastern part of the country and in our region. We'll have an upper level trough moving into the area as well as this uh, low pressure wave lifting up into the region as well as we go through the overnight. It's going to bring us that chance of some light precip, just a slight chance at this time um, as we go into tomorrow morning, uh, but the better chance of precip moving in for the weekend. If we look at the upper level winds this morning, seeing those winds out of the north northwest near the surface becoming westerly through the remain remainder of the column and uh, not too strong of winds, but gradually increasing up to a peak wind, 50 knots, 25,000 feet. And the freezing level today is at 8,200 feet. Looking at the current visible satellite, we can see just a few high clouds streaming through the area, expecting that to continue as we go through the day today before we'll start to see those clouds really increase as we go into the evening as that uh, wave of low pressure starts to approach closer to the south. If you look at the short-term high-resolution model, see how that plays out. Again, dry weather as we move through the day, we'll see those clouds on the increase as we go into the evening time frame and that upper level trough starts to push through the region. We'll see that area of low pressure tracking south of the area. Just a slight chance we see some precip mainly between the 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. time frame tomorrow. As you can see, some reflectivity showing up closer to the Wallops area, but most of the activity staying off the coast and to the south. And then as we go into the day on Thursday, that moves, uh, continues to move out of the area. We'll start off mostly cloudy on Thursday with those clouds decreasing as we get later in the day. But we will see those uh, winds on the increase as we go through the day tomorrow, likely seeing uh, wind advisory criteria winds above 25 knots as we go through the day. And into the evening, we'll see those winds start to relax and the clouds uh, clearing out of here, and we'll see a cold evening as we go into uh, Friday morning. Chilly day for Friday as high pressure builds back in briefly over the area. If we zoom out and look at the longer term model here, we'll see that high pressure in control for Friday. Chilly temperatures, and then as we go into the weekend, we see that high pressure start to break down, and that area of low pressure we've been watching all week begins to move up into the region bringing those rain chances into the area by late morning or early afternoon. And we'll see that rain continuing through the day and into the evening time frame. Again, a rain event for the local area here at Wallops and much of the peninsula. Uh, very slight chance of maybe seeing some uh, frozen precip in the most northern parts of the peninsula, but most of the frozen precip staying uh, in the western Maryland and into Pennsylvania and continuing into the northeast as this area of low pressure moves out. We'll see some lingering chances of precip early on Sunday before things start to dry out. And uh, we'll continue to see some slightly breezy conditions and mostly cloudy as we go through the day on Sunday. High pressure builds back in for Monday with things drying out, remaining seasonable. And then a, another area of low pressure looks to come together. Pretty good agreement with the models on this. Uh, much larger area of low pressure coming together as we get into next week bringing those um, breezy and rainy conditions back into the area as we get into the day on Tuesday and continuing into the evening Tuesday, uh, as well as the start of Wednesday. So if we look at the 24-hour weather risk chart for today, expecting mainly green conditions over the next 24 hours, we do pick up that yellow chance for preset between that 4 and 8 p.m., or excuse me, 4 and 8 a.m. time frame tomorrow morning. But we'll go through the day with just mainly partly cloudy conditions and mainly high clouds around. We'll see our high temperature around 47 degrees, which is about the average for this time of year. Light winds out of the west to southwest around 2 to 7 knots. And as we go into the evening, clouds on the increase, mainly mid and high clouds. And then we'll see some lower level clouds building in as we go through the overnight and into the early morning Thursday, uh, just before we pick up that chance of uh, precip. Cloud cover will keep temperatures from falling too low, so seeing our low around 36 degrees for Thursday morning. And there's winds on the lighter side as well. Seeing the tides about a foot above normal. As we go into the next couple of days, again, starting mostly cloudy on Thursday, 
See those clouds start to decrease late in the day, but very slight chance of a lingering uh, sprinkle early on, but otherwise we'll see those winds on the increase with a fairly seasonable day with a high around 46 degrees. We do have that red risk for winds that are about 25 knots, so likely seeing that wind advisory that's going to make things feel uh, cooler than that actual high. And as we go into Thursday evening, we'll see partly cloudy conditions early. We could see some lingering, slightly breezy conditions as well, so we keep that yellow chance for winds that are above 25 knots. And as we go through the overnight time frame, we'll see clearing skies and those winds will weaken. That will allow those temperatures to really cool off with a low around 25 degrees. And as we go into Friday, we'll see mostly sunny to partly cloudy day. And we'll keep those chilly temperatures around with a high just around 43 degrees. Going into the weekend, we start to pick up that disturbed weather. Uh, starting off Really cold on Saturday morning with around 28 degrees, and we'll see a milder day with some of that warmer air moving in off the water with a high around 52 for Saturday. Uh, again, there's rain chances starting as by the time we get into late morning and early afternoon and continuing into the evening. Could see some lingering precip chances early on Sunday, but uh, mostly cloudy and slightly breezy on Sunday uh, with more seasonable temperatures with a high around 46. Go into Monday with another seasonable day with a low around 32 and high of 47, uh, mainly just partly cloudy, and then some more disturbed weather moving into the area as we get into Tuesday with that second area of low pressure uh, moving across the country, um, even milder for that event with a high around 57 expected for Tuesday. That's going to wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.